Well, hey everybody, we had a question come in from our friend Jonas over in Germany. And Jonas asks, what do you think of up-picking and using drop-thumb technique together? So, you know, that got me thinking. What I just played for you all there was a little bit of Johnson Boys, which I learned when I was living in up around western North Carolina and southeast Tennessee, uh, around Boone, North Carolina. That's a popular song up there. Um, and when I first started playing Johnson Boys, the way I heard people play it was like this. Like that. But I couldn't I didn't I couldn't quite do those those little double thumbs on the fifth string. So I came up and I was up picking a lot at the time mostly. And uh, so I came up with this. I was up picking and instead of doing two thumbs on the fifth I would come down to the fifth fret on the first string and then I'd accomplish the little ditty in there by drop thumbing while I up picked. And I didn't think much of it except I could tell it was a little bit tricky to, to try to incorporate the drop thumbing into the up picking but but one time uh, Matt Kinman watched me trying to do that a great banjo player and guitar player and fiddler and singer from out of Arizona look up Matt Kinman if you don't know of him uh, Matt Kimmon saw me trying to do that, and he said, Well, boy, if you can figure out how to drop thumb while you're up picking like that, you're a pretty good banjo picker, because that's hard to do. <laughs> and it is hard to do. Uh, it's kinda, it can be counterintuitive. But, uh, you know, one, one great musician that I recently uh, uh, learned about is a woman named Mabel Cawthorn. And she lived in... Uh, I'll let this car go by. Uh, Mabel lived in uh, Carnesville, Georgia, which is about halfway between Greensville, South Carolina, Greenville, South Carolina, and Athens, Georgia, up in the mountains there, right on the, the, the Carolina-Georgia border there. And uh, I learned about her through going and visiting Art Rosenbaum uh, a couple weeks ago at his home in Athens. Um, you know, Art gave me this this wonderful set of his uh, volume two of the Art of Field Recording. Uh, really good stuff, lots of great artwork, four CDs of, of great music in there. And after I visited Art, I went out and got everything I could get from him, um, including this uh, Folk Visions and, and Voices. Uh, this is all music from North Georgia that he recorded. And I think the photographs are most, mostly by his wife, um, Margo. Margo Newmark Rosenbaum. But this is a great two-disc set, Volume 1 and Volume 2. The other thing I got of art, since, you know, you can't, this is Volume 2 of Art of Field Recording. You can hardly, you can't hardly find Volume 1 anymore. If you do, it's about, they want about 200 bucks for it. But Volume 2 is just as good, and it's got a lot of the same musicians on it, including George Gibson is on here. Um, and Mabel Cawthorn, who we're talking about. But pick up a copy of this if you can, Volume 2. It's fantastic. The other thing I got from Art after I visited him was this little sampler disc of his Art of Field Recording stuff. This is great too. This has some Mabel Cawthorn on it. And here's what Art says about Mabel. He says, Mabel Cawthorn was certainly one of the most colorful individuals we encountered. A real modern day darling Cora who had been a cotton mill worker, a truck gardener, and a bootlegger. In her 80s, she was convicted of selling marijuana, making her the oldest female prisoner in Georgia. But she was best known as banjo-picking Maybell, equally at home on the harmonica and the guitar. And on the next page, there's a picture of, of art with Maybell. Really cool. So I didn't realize this. I listened to as many of her recordings as I could get because she is, she is a colorful character. There's something about her that, that really touches me. But, um, and, and Art, you can tell Art just, just loves to talk about her. He, she really left an impression on him. But there's a video that I'm going to link to later of uh, that Art got of Maybell at her home in Carnesville. And you can see she's an up picker and she's a drop thumber.
which is pretty unusual. I, mean, I don't know of too many pickers that do that, but there's a recording of Maybell on there. She's playing uh, Shout Lulu, which um, I'll tell you, it's the same. It's basically the same song as Hook and Line or Minnow on the Hook, Shout Lulu. But she's playing that, and she throws in this sick little drop thumb while she's up picking. And it's really cool. So I'll link to that video, and y'all should check that out. But basically, Jonas, um, to answer your question, bud, yeah, you can, you can drop thumb when you up pick. It's hard, it's difficult. And it's so difficult that a lot of people who I think can do it, they, they won't do it. Like I can do it, but it kind of interrupt, it, it'll interrupt your flow. It kind of makes you, you need to play a little bit slower, I think. But I'm gonna link to that video of Maybell, watch her do it. And you saw me just do it with, uh, with Johnson Boys, you know. can be done you kind of need to slow your picking down a little bit I think to incorporate it um, but yeah it's a neat effect and you should try it and the other thing you should do is check out Mabel Cawthorn she's on this great box set from Art Rosenbaum look at all the tracks that are on here guys absolutely just a ton of work in here um, and it comes with this awesome book it comes with four CDs and this awesome book. There's all kinds of photos in here. There's probably a painting of Mabel in here. Anyhow, guys. But look up look up Mabel Cawthorn and I'm gonna link to that video. And if you guys know of anybody else who you've seen in a video or heard on a recording who dropped thumbs while they're up picking, let us know in the comments. I'd like to talk about that. And uh, and maybe maybe there's some other songs I can I can show you with that, but yeah, look up Mabel Cawthorn, and uh, as far as I know, she was only ever recorded by Art Rosenbaum, so thanks to Art and, and Margo for, for tracking down people like Mabel. Okay, guys, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your great questions. I want to get more questions in, and I really like doing these Q&As, and uh, you'll see me later.